But for all the people who, who didn't come from my era, my name is Triple Chase, an ex-member from the Terror Squad. Should I say Big Pun Squad? Because you know, Big Pun is who, who made Terror Squad at the end of the day. Cuban is my brother. We, we can fight, love, hug, whatever. That's my nigga, you know what I'm saying? That's my brother, without the music. I don't need this music to, to fucking kill me. But, for I expect, I hollered at him. Like, yo, I got to speak for you to get on my new album. You know what I mean? And he, he took it. Yo, know, I love it. I want to get on it. Didn't answer back. So, you know what I mean? What could I do? But I still live the vibe. I still with you. Um, again, I haven't seen, I haven't spoke to. I seen him one time, you know, personally. But it was never no animosity with them. Wasn't even animosity with Joe I never had. I left on some real business shit, you know what I mean? But I was just disappointed that her name wasn't kept alive throughout all these years. It's a whole decade. But I don't mean I'm gonna make songs talking about fuck Joe, he's a piece of shit, he don't do shit for nobody. That's not my problem. It, it, actions speak louder than words anyway, you know what I mean? You'll see that if you be around him, if you wanna deal with him, you see it for yourself. I don't even tell you. And if you want to hear it, Cuban will tell you. He'll tell you everything. A lot of shit's going on in the past, and, and we're not a crew no more. But we're talking about my, my history, you know what I mean? And, and my history came from that era. I was part of Tubber Squad. You know what I mean? When niggas see me, they be like, yo, that's that nigga right there, Triple Shakes, yeah, he's from Tubber Squad. They'll be like, oh, that's that Triple Shakes nigga, he, he's the underdog, his new album's coming out. Now that's what's happening now. You know what I mean? The only thing that I feel disappointed and, and, and like confused about is why isn't her name alive right now. Of course, I can talk to you because you're Latin. I can talk to a couple of other Latin artists and they know like y'all promised the reason why I'm doing this. So, you know, it's like the respect is there but not the notoriety that he deserves. He, he, he deserves to be, to have his day on MTV. He's supposed to have his day on Hot 97. Not just because uh, 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 one hour, two hour, a whole fucking day, you know what I mean? Because he was an icon. He was the first Latin rapper to go platinum. Name me another one, name me another one. And if you do, it's gonna have to come from the same camp. Like, that's why I'm here, my grind is, that's why I'm triple six, I'm the beast. One game, one added the triple to the six. It was the six before that was triple jams. So Pun was like, yo, we did a freestyle with Tony Touch, me and Cuban, and Pun got on it, then Tony was like, yo, who your man right there? Yo, that's Sace. No, 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 that's Triple Sace, the beast. Because everything I ever wanted, I went hard, I didn't quit, I was a beast about it. My name, Triple Sace, don't come from, oh, he's a bad boy, antichrist, he don't believe in God. Nah, my nigga got nothing to do with that. Rap is a sense of imagination, that's your name. You know, some people take it a little deeper and they, make, they incorporate their name to be what they are. You know what I mean? Or try to be what they are. I'm the, I'm the beast, so that was my name, Triple Sage the Beast. Before it was just about writing rhymes and, and, and just like listening to beats and, and picking the best beat and, and writing the best hook. But now now I see that music is, is way more than just going in the booth. It, it's like a young artist who's just a, a good talent and don't know that there's other things going on with the music. You know, as you know, you always get like, should I say, you get like a, a downplay for a while. You get downplays being a young artist, trying to make it, and then you realize that your songs are good, but you can't break the deal. You don't got, you don't know nobody. So I go back since I was like 12. Bro. I'm 36 now. It is what it is. We we had our era. Our run was that 90s era. But I go back as far as 12 because. My older brother who was a DJ. He DJ with Grandmaster Flash and DJ with with all the top DJs back in the day that do, do block parties. So I was a little kid just running around carrying the crate for my brother. But he also did commercials, like for Rolaids and different kind of commercials that they wanted hip hop involved. So I had a deep voice as a young kid. He would use my voice and channel that shit into the commercials. So I got my first hip hop check at 12. Rolex. I think I, I think I took it serious after I got that first check though. Cause then I started getting more people around me involved. Like I, I knew a lot of talent around me. You know, one of the first most talented artists that I ever knew came grow up right next to me. His name was JQ. So being around him was like, oh shit, this this motherfucker, he thinking of some crazy shit. Some the way he was way ahead of his time. He was the Jada back then. You know what I mean? So being around him. 
But then I had another artist named Chief D that was around me. He was a battle rapper. So he was in the crew. So he'd come at you with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of raps. Like, you can't beat him. Like, God damn, this nigga don't stop. And he wasn't slacking. It was just coming hard and hard and hard and hard. And just, until you gave up on this motherfucker. But that's the era I grew up. It was about lyrics. It was about concepts. And, and, and just putting together good music. You know what I mean? As you figure, we had the Eric B's and Rock Kim. We had the Gaddy Kane, Cause You Rap. Then from them came the Nas, Master Ace. Um, you know, it just kept coming lyrics, lyrics, lyrics. It wasn't no break. Like now, it's more the beat, the hook. Then you hear what somebody has to say, unless you know who it is. Like Eminem, you listen for the lyrics. Like, oh shit, you want to hear this nigga lyrics? You're gonna come hard to hear the kiss lyrics. You know what I mean? Some artists you just want to hear the hook, the song, and see how you know because they ride the beat so hot. But it's cool because it's music, and I still respect that. As long as you keep the the, the, the aura of the culture of hip hop alive. But I, I ain't got no problems with this stuff. I'll tell you one thing about doing it for a time that you lose a lot of a, 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 a lot of a lot of people around you because not everybody has the same belief that you have or, or see the same vision. So just just for you doing that, you could lose your baby bombs. You could lose a girlfriend. You could lose a good friend just on the strength of you trying to be who who, who you destined to be, and, and that's your dream. You know what I mean? It's really hard in the music industry to maintain any other relationship but music. Like ever since I started this music, I still haven't stopped. I still haven't stopped putting everything into it. You know what I mean? For me putting everything into it, I have lost a lot of people around me. You know what I mean? So that's why I don't, in other words, but for doing choosing the music, loving the music so much, I, I don't have the let's say I, I don't have the opportunity to, to be around my seed. Like I want to, you know what I mean? Because of the different and choices that I have, I've made, you know what I mean? The music is a real challenging thing for you to do. And, and for you to really want this music, and, and, and you want to come up, try to make wise decisions so your responsibilities will be at a minimum so you can give your all to this shit until you finally realize it whether you want it or not. You always want to think major first, you gotta dream big. But it, there's a difference between a dreamer you know what I mean? There's a difference between a dreamer and a doer though. You gotta you gotta do something about what you're dreaming about. You gotta somehow, some way make it make it possible for you to either fail or, or succeed. You just can't leave it up in the air, you know what I mean? So that, that that's just my my whole theory to the whole shit. Oh bottom line, if you don't follow through, you're not gonna know whether you're gonna make it or not. So you gotta just stick to your guns. So you a new artist, back to the new artist, and I was a new artist. We didn't have so many ways that the internet, we didn't have that. No emails were being sent to me, no beats, no cameras was on us. That's why you don't see a lot of footage of, of, of our history. You just know about us through our music. Right now, my advice to any other artist, especially a new artist, will, will, will come from learning, try to learn more avenues of, of hip hop. Don't just write rhymes and think that you're an artist. Write the rhyme, draw the concept, great. Learn how to work the Pro Tools. Learn how to be an engineer. Learn how to work the camera. Shoot your own videos, write your own treatments. You gotta try to expand, cause maybe that rap music might not be what you think it is. And you can find another lane, cause there's so many lanes of hip hop that, that it's just a part of you loving the music and believing in yourself. You gotta believe in yourself, cause if you don't, then nobody around you gonna believe in you. That, that's just karma, you know what I mean? It's just life in general. You don't even have to be music. You go to school, you follow through. You know what I mean? You try to be the best you can be. That same thing I did. That's why I'm still here. I'm still doing the music. The next album coming out, The Underdog. It's independent though. Why? Because I chose to put myself in that position. I chose to be able to control my own, my own decision. Whether it's a bad one or a good one, I won't know until I follow through. That's the whole point. You gave me strength and made me believe Told me the one who left behind eventually would take the lead Even wrote rhymes Yo, what up, man? It's your boy Overtime Often It's your boy Triple Six, you already know what it is, the underdog Yeah, man, we on the Dante Luna show right now, man, making it happen PSUthebest.com, LatinusPlatinum.com Make sure you check that shit out, my dude, Triple Six, OTO Now we do Peace I needed something to 
some help. The harsh realities of life are taking toll. Even these Christ will shake my soul. Please tell me what price to pay to make it whole. Take control. I'm making dough, but not enough to blow. J.O.'s, they love.